up? I'm Sergeant Ballistic, but you guys can call me Brian. Thank you for checking out this video. Today I've got another unboxing for you. This time we're checking out the Lunar White Xbox One controller. I think it's great that Microsoft has been coming out with a number of different limited editions and special colored controllers. For those trying to color match their setup, perhaps they have a limited edition console or a specific color PC they're trying to color match. It just means you have more options and you might not have to either paint one yourself or go to a mod company to get a controller that will leave you happy. Taking a look at what comes in the box, you've of course got the controller, then an included set of AA batteries and your standard documentation, all pretty much standard fare. Taking a look at the controller itself, it's a very nice white and black two-toned color scheme with a hint of gold in a couple places like on the d-pad and on the share and option buttons and overall the color scheme kind of reminds me of the Taken King limited edition PS4 I wonder if that was on purpose or not taking a look at the ABX Y bunch you'll notice that they are just black and white with the color codes actually marked on the shell itself thumbsticks are pretty standard but if you hop down to the bottom, you'll notice that it does include a 3.5 millimeter jack, which is the case for all of the new quote unquote updated controllers. So you can plug a headset straight into that. Also with the updated controllers, you have the nicer bumpers, which can be actuated a lot easier than the older style bumpers. And this controller can also be updated wirelessly. Taking a closer look up top, you see that we've got these gold triggers, which match the gold accents on the front and actually black bumpers. So this is the first time I've ever seen two-toned bumpers and triggers on a Xbox One controller. Flipping around back, you'll see a, another standout feature is that it has this texturized coating on the inside of the grips. They're in a very nice place to increase the grippability of the controller. Texture is also very similar to that, which comes on the Xbox One Elite controller. However, it does not wrap all the way around the grips like you see on the Xbox One Elite controller. This is a really cool feature and something I was a little disappointed did not come included with the Halo limited edition controllers I picked up earlier and did an unboxing of. You can also check out my unboxing of the Xbox One Elite controller if you haven't seen that already. So if you have a white version of the Xbox One or you've skinned it to be white and gold or you have a white PC and often find yourself using an Xbox One controller for games like Rocket League or GTA. I think it's awesome that Microsoft is producing first party colored and limited edition controllers to help you just spice up your setup. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of this controller or any of the other controllers I've unboxed in the comments below. Let me know if there's any controllers you do want to see me unbox or add to my collection. Go ahead and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Share it with your friends. Subscribe if you already have. I'm going to be having a lot more unboxings and reviews of things like the Xbox One Elite controller coming up in the future. Got my Amazon affiliate link in the description and also links to all of my social media accounts so you can follow me. Thanks again for watching. Peace out.